Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed Bahrain for the Five Way Arab Summit upon an invitation from the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, and Iraq Prime Minister Mustafa Al Kadhimi will participate in the summit. His Majesty the King will also participate in the opening of Al Masa Hotel. His Majesty was bidden farewell by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Law 32 of 2022, amending some provisions of several decree laws regulating buildings, urban planning, and the division of land lots intended for construction and development. The decree amends some provisions of law on constructional organization of buildings promulgated by Decree Law 13 of 1977, Decree Law 2 of 1994 regarding urban planning, and Decree Law 3 of 1994 on the division of lands intended for construction and development. His Majesty also issued Decree Law 33 of 2022, amending some provisions of Decree Law 15 of 1986 on regulating tourism and Law 62 of 2006 on establishing and organizing the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. His Majesty then issued Decree Law 34 of 2022, amending some provisions of Decree Law 11 of 1995 regarding the protection of antiquities. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 44 of 2022. The decree stipulates that the Housing and Urban Planning Ministry shall be responsible for implementing the provisions of Decree Law 2 of 1994 regarding urban planning and Decree Law 3 of 1994 on the division of lands intended for construction and development. It also stipulates that the Housing and Urban Planning Minister shall be responsible for implementing the provisions of law on constructional and organization of buildings promulgated by Decree Law 13 of 1970. Decree Law 2 of 1994 regarding urban planning and Decree Law 3 of 1994 on the division of lands intended for construction and development. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 45 of 2022. The decree stipulates that the Tourism Ministry shall be responsible for implementing the provisions of Decree Law 15 of 1986 on regulating tourism. It also stipulates that the Tourism Minister shall be responsible for implementing the provisions of Decree Law 15 of 1986 on regulating tourism and Law 62 of 2006 on establishing and organizing the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. His Majesty also issued Decree 46 of 2022. According to the decree, Bahrain Training Institute shall be affiliated with Bahrain Polytechnic and be considered part of the Bahrain Polytechnic and the rules and regulations enforced therein shall apply to it. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Aqdabiyya Palace. The cabinet commended Bahraini women's wide-ranging contributions to the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and supported by His Royal Highness. The cabinet congratulated Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the 21st anniversary of the SCW, highlighting the council's support of programs that further advance women's participation in the kingdom's comprehensive development. The cabinet commended Bahrain's recent announcement on an initiative to build a local satellite, which will be launched by the end of December 2023, which is an initiative based on the vision of His Majesty the King and the directors of His Royal Highness. The cabinet commended the efforts of the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the President and employees of the National Space Science Authority for facilitating the part participation of Team Bahrain in the project, which reflects the Kingdom's efforts and interest in the future of space exploration and science. The Cabinet extended its congratulations to the BDF following Bahrain taking command of the CTF-152 Combined Maritime Task Force that maintains maritime security in the Arabian Gulf. The Cabinet commended the role of the BDF along with the Kingdom's allies in furthering global efforts that safeguard international maritime traffic.
The Cabinet then approved the following. A memorandum by the Minister of Education regarding 27 recommendations for the national consultations, which included 101 participants from government and private education institutions, as well as civil societies, in preparation for the participation in the UN Transforming Education Summit held in the U.S. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Education and Training Quality Authority in Bahrain and the Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education in the UK. The MOU aims to facilitate the exchange of information and expertise. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between Bahrain's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Development Cooperation of Burundi on Political Consultations. A memorandum by the Minister of Municipalities and Agriculture Affairs regarding the acquisition of real estate for public use to provide necessary space and urban development. And a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to three proposals, a law proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives Council and a law proposal submitted by the Shura Council. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Municipalities and Agricultural Affairs regarding the decisions made by municipal councils for the fifth municipal session from December 2018 to June 2022. The Cabinet took note of the ministerial report regarding the Minister of Foreign Affairs visit to Jordan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 41 of 2022, naming the Minister of Information Affairs as the Minister responsible for the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities before the Legislative Branch. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced the launch of a 100% Bahraini built satellite project in the Kingdom. More in this report. In line with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and an implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced the launch of a 100% Bahraini built satellite project in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The project is expected to be completed and launched by the end of December 2023, and this project is a distinguished achievement for the Kingdom, as a group of Bahraini youth who are qualified in the field of space sciences and technologies will contribute to building it. The management of the National Space Science Agency exerted tremendous efforts to place the Kingdom among leading countries in the space sector. The members of the Bahrain Space Team also contributed significantly to the field of space sciences and presented unique innovations which contributed to establishing an advanced technical infrastructure in the Kingdom, which affirms Bahraini youth's excellence in various fields. The Kingdom of Bahrain seeks to harness space science and technology for national development. It also strives to play a vital role in protecting the environment and helping the Kingdom achieve sustainable development goals related to Bahrain's economic vision 2030. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Assoumi, expressed his pride in the inauguration of the project to build the first fully Bahraini satellite. He stressed that this new achievement is added to the Kingdom's achievements in the field of space and reflects the royal vision of His Majesty the King. Al Assoumi stressed that this project is being implemented by a group of Bahraini youth and it is in line with the royal directives to achieve the maximum benefit from the space sector to enhance the levels of various government services. He praised the support of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in taking care of this pioneering step. The Speaker praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's step in adopting strategies and plans to support Bahraini youth, stressing the Parliament's support for the Kingdom of Bahrain's steps in launching the first Bahraini satellite, which enhances its international presence in the field of space sciences. The Inspection and Metrology Department at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce said the resolution number 14 of the year 2022 regarding banning the manufacture and import of single-use plastic bags will be implemented starting from September 18th. Plastic bags used for medical purposes and bags manufactured for export will be excluded. The resolution of banning plastic bags aims to protect the environment from pollutants and limit the spread of plastic waste, which poses a threat to the wildlife in the kingdom. <laughs>